Hello everybody and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. I'm down here, as you see, I just fixed the, uh, the water was icing up on me. So I fixed that and I'm down here in the cab tractor. The temp hadn't come up enough to make it warm, but it's nice inside this cab, even when the uh, temp's not up where, the, where I turned the heater on. Hopefully you'll stay right where you're at when I, so I can talk to you while I'm driving back up towards the barn. We got a bunch of chores to do, things to talk about, and uh, I'm just tickled to be here today because uh, on this camera. Oh, by the way, for some of you that don't know, my name is Donald, and uh, for the, some of the ones that uh, have been here and followed us for a long time, and we haven't been around for almost uh, 30 some days. It's almost like 36 days by the time I get this one up probably. Uh, I got sick right there around Thanksgiving break. I don't know what it was, but it was in my chest. It really wasn't in my nose or anything. But uh, we got tested and all that after a couple weeks. I just couldn't take it anymore. The sun's changing on me a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna move. But uh, anyway, the, uh, uh, we was tested, I, Lisa was tested, I was tested, everybody got tested. And no COVID, no flu, but she ended up giving Lisa nothing. They took two x-rays of my lungs because uh, this, uh, I was taking enough uh, day coil, night coil and all that, that I was, uh, I'm gonna have to turn this heater on just a little bit, I guess. Uh, but, uh, to get out of the sun. But anyway, sorry for the poor picture, but uh, like I said, I was taking so much Dayquil and Nyquil trying to get feel better that I was uh, uh, jacking my blood pressure up so high, and uh, it wasn't all that high, but when she tested it, but it was in the high, uh, low 60s, one said the high number was low, high 60s, low 70, whatever, I'm getting out. Anyway, it was high enough. She told, she gave me some medicine. Told Lisa to keep doing what she's doing. There was really nothing we could do about it. And uh, she gave me some steroids to kind of break up whatever was in my lungs and get it out and then inhale it. It worked. But about a week ago, we was uh, uh, we found out. You know, we we started getting feeling better and stuff like that. About the time we started feeling better again. And I'm sorry about the way this sun's coming in, but uh, by the time we started feeling better, we uh, found out one of my friends from work died. And uh, he'd been sick for a couple months, about a month or so, anyway, a couple months. And uh, well, we went to the funerals and several other people died. We went to the funerals for them. And uh, had a few things with family and things like that. We're just now getting ready to uh, where we can actually get around and uh, do some video. <laughs> I was going to do some video yesterday, but <laughs> man, that snow come in, the ice and all that stuff. I checked on the dogs and different things like that. And uh, well, everything seemed all right with it. all the dogs, nothing, no water froze. I had some electric buckets, some warming buckets. Uh, the chickens, everybody seemed to be fine, and uh, well, our, uh, we got a, uh, uh, well, we got a, uh, the fireplaces going, we got all that wood up there, I'll probably take some more up there in uh, the next day or two, and uh, tomorrow's Christmas, y'all, so <laughs> Merry Christmas, hopefully we'll get us out tonight, and y'all be wishing a Merry Christmas before Christmas. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, the uh, uh, we just been out of it. Didn't feel like I barely felt like going to work. I didn't miss any work. Mom and Dad and my wife all say I'm stubborn, and uh, and I I might not go to other things and stuff like that, but I'll go to work. I got to make my money, and uh, not like never mind. The uh, but <laughs> anyway, the uh, we. 
we appreciate all the prayers and stuff that people that knew we were sick and stuff like that and prayed for us and stuff and uh, I appreciate all the notes of people wondering where we were. Uh, I was able to do with a few uh, birthday wishes for people usually in the mornings and stuff like that and uh, and I, I like doing that for you know just because uh, everybody needs to have a birthday wish on their birthday. Some people just don't get them. But anyway, uh, like I said, one thing leads to another and here we are. Hopefully you all will uh, start watching the new videos. We're going to be taking some changes this next year and doing some different things. Uh, I was wanting to uh, do the uh, redo. We've had the same kitchen uh, since uh, day Lisa moved in <laughs> and uh, up here at this house up here we got married. One thing led to another and we uh, pretty much had the same kitchen since then. And, uh, not other than a few appliances changing, the cabinets and all that have stayed the same. Uh, we got a, a hot water line that froze on us this morning, uh, and the way it was routed against the concrete wall and stuff like that, I'm surprised it didn't uh, freeze yesterday. And uh, they, uh, I don't know, uh, that's another reason why I was wanting to remodel the kitchen to reroute them lines so they'll never freeze again. They don't freeze every year, but it gets down like this, they do. So, anyway, like I said, we need to uh, go on up to the barn here in a minute. And uh, I think Eve's going to have some puppies if it's not, if she she didn't have them yesterday. So, I need to check on her again today and see if she's had them. And uh, so far, she hasn't had them yet. And, uh, well, anybody interested in some Pyrenees puppies, 100% Pyrenees. Uh, great Pyrenees, we, uh, we're going to have some, I uh, hope, and uh, this kind of weather, her first litter she had, was uh, very, that very first litter, uh, she had, uh, she raised eight pups, gave birth and, and raised them on the coldest day of that year. It was the coldest day of the year. And I'm like, of all days to have, uh, have puppies. But anyway, she, she had them, she raised them. And, uh, well, we just, we was internally grateful for everything that uh, them dogs would give us and protected us from and stuff. And I, I try to treat them best I can and stuff like that. And they treat us real good and, they're, and they treat the grandbabies and everything real nice. So anyway, I'm rambling here. I'm gonna go up to the barn and see if we can't feed, show off the dogs. The sheep are doing real good, the chickens are doing good, and uh, in this cold weather, everybody's got water. Like I said, I got the electric uh, heat uh, bowls for them to eat, I drink out of. I've got a pretty good sized tub for the for Faith, Adam, and the sheep over there by the shed. And uh, it uh, got, maybe I'll have to fill it later. And uh, then we'll have to, uh, check on Faith and stuff like that and see what she's doing with see if she's got puppies and if she does we'll show you the puppies but anyway we're going to go up there and see if we can't get a little thing done here and there and uh well like I said y'all keep following along and sorry we've been gone so long but we had a sickness that was trying to kill us and we just stubborn I guess anyway <laughs> uh we're going I'm on y'all follow along I'm going to go up to uh, up here to the uh up to the barn and uh ooh, y'all don't want to be that close anyway like i said going up here to the barn and take care and, oh and if you notice i ain't wearing my glasses i can see a lot better than the, those glasses i have uh i keep telling that those doctors there in litchfield i said these are i've been telling them since day one they've been right they just progressively getting worse and uh Actually, I can see better without my glasses than I can with them. And uh, so we went to E-Town, to the Walmart, and this really nice guy come in there, and he was uh, the eye doctor there. And he says, it's a good thing. I'll, I've been taking my glasses off for a long time when I drive because I can just see better, and especially at night because everything's starbursts and stuff like that. He said, well, I'm glad to hear you did, took your glasses off. But I said, what do you mean? He said, because when I checked your glasses and I checked your eyes, 
technically when you're wearing your glasses you're legally blind <laughs> and I'm like you've got to be kidding me he said no no I'm not he said, I wish I was but I'm not so I like well no wonder I've been having trouble with these god big glasses I, I keep telling them they're wrong anyway like I said I'm gonna go up here to the barn I'm gonna turn the camera around and drive up there a little bit and uh, We'll get out of here and see what we can't find at the, at the barn. That's Faith. I thought she was gonna give me some puppies, but she hadn't yet. She hadn't showed any signs yet. There's Adam. And there's the sheep over there. It's a good breed of sheep very well they take care of themselves they're very hardy but they do not like to be near people at all i don't know what the deal is with them ain't that right bud yeah we're gonna sit up here in a minute and get you all some food yeah well i don't know if it's true or not but the thermometer around the outside of the building says it's about 21 degrees. And we have another thermometer in here in the water water thing where we water tank area and it says it's 40. So good deal. Hopefully nothing is frozen. Everything's working the way it should. Man, is it dark in this barn. Well, Let's step over here and see if we uh, have any puppies. You a mama yet? You a mama yet? Huh? Not yet? I don't hear anything squeaking. Got water, get you some fresh food here in a second, okay? No puppies yet? Huh? Yeah. Are you about to pop? <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> she wants me to come in there and pet her. Well, I'm going to turn this thing off here a minute. Go ahead and do some feeding and uh, then uh, show y'all around some more or see what we get into. All right. Well, everybody's fed. Happy, I hope. <laughs> and uh, well, I'm happy with everything not uh, freezing up. But uh, hey, it is what it is some days. They, uh, but uh, man, we sure got a cold spell going here. <laughs> Hopefully, it will end before long. Our anniversary is uh, the 28th. Lisa and I'll be married 37 years. Whoa, yeah, my, my makeshift camera mount did not want to mount, <laughs> did not want to stay that way. Anyway, the uh, uh, our anniversary, back to what I was saying before the camera decided to take a dive. The, uh, our anniversary is uh, coming up and uh, on the 28th. So me and Lisa will be uh, 
married for 37 years. <laughs> and it's a long time for one woman to be with a man, especially me. <laughs> I'm proud of her and I'm uh, thankful for her. Anyway, like I said, hopefully we stay healthy. We uh, get things done the way we uh, want to get things done around here. And, uh, well, before I park this tractor in somewhat good light, I'm going to uh, put the tra put this back here, right here. And, and uh, well, like I said, hopefully everything works out where we don't get sick again. Man, I tell you what, almost, well, it's a little, about a, over a month, and then, like I said, we had to go to a few funerals, run back and forth to Louisville, a few doctors, whatever, I mean, uh, things, you know, whatever, and, uh, well, it, it just, time got away from us, and we, uh, I tell you what, it was almost four weeks, I didn't, I didn't know what was happening, I couldn't breathe, I tell you, I walked across a flat floor, and something that you know you just go over to in you know to do something or walk over to the barn and i'd walk from the house to the barn and i stopped two or three times and it was uh kind of rough it really was it was i've never felt that bad in my well i say that but i can remember being at home and stuff like that and i smoked back then and everything just hurt so bad you couldn't even smoke a cigarette I can also remember my dad going, because I'd try every now and then smoke, and uh, he'd look at me and go, you can't, you can't smoke right now. He'd just try and take a puff off one, and now that you're better, you're going to go back to them silly things? Well, I did. I smoked for almost 40 years, and uh, I don't know why, what I was thinking, but one, it was a waste of time, it was a waste of health, but luckily though when she did my x-rays and stuff like that she did several different ones she said mac my lungs look good and clear and i said well i don't know how they look good and clear as bad as i feel but anyway after she gave me that uh uh inhaler and those uh i think they were steroid pills but they wasn't in one of those z packs these were just different type pills and uh she, act, she said they was going to be, uh, I thought I was getting a Z-Pack, but ended up getting two different bottles of pills. One had, uh, I was supposed to take two every day, you know, whatever, for three days, and then one for seven days, and then use that inhaler uh, four times a day. And Anyway, everything worked out. So hopefully I'm back to, well, I'm, I'm still not, I'm not up to running the marathons and stuff like that, I don't guess, but... Uh, I'm getting around pretty really good now. So anyway, Lisa's getting around real good. Uh, we've gone back and forth to Louisville to uh, see mom and dad, and, and uh, she went do a few things for uh, uh, her dad. We were doing Christian shopping the other day. Ended up walking out of uh, Walmart when we checked her glasses and stuff Wednesday. And had a flat tire, so that was that was a little interesting. But anyway. I'm gonna end this video here and tell y'all that uh, I got a video coming up. If it wind quits, I'm gonna uh, do some drone footage. And uh, some people have been asking uh, why we do this. And I've had a bunch of people go, why you do that? I mean, necessarily in the store, comments on Facebook and, and different things and, uh, and even on YouTube. But uh, on, uh, but uh, so the reason why we do it will be explained hopefully in the next video or two. But I want to put uh, some drone footage with it because uh, I want y'all to listen to, to something and that means a lot to me. So anyway, the uh, until next time, may God bless your days, pray for our health, we'll pray for yours, and to everybody that's watching these videos, I sure am uh, blessed by having y'all as my friends and uh, subscribers and whoever watches them, me and Lisa really do appreciate it. So anyway. Until next time, may God bless your days the way he always blesses ours. See ya.